In the 1980s and 1990s, there was a legendary rough and tough bad boy of basketball. His name was Bill Lambeer. Unfortunately, the league didn't like his style of playing, so they forced him to retire. Now the year is 2030, and Bill Lambeer has resurfaced as commissioner of the basketball league. He wants to get back at those people who made him retire and play ball his style. He's fired all the refs and eliminated all fouls. The players are armored and the crowd throws weapons and mines onto the court. This is basketball my way, exclaims Lambeer. No wimps, no wussies. It's just, it's not just basketball, it's combat basketball. Fast one-on-one -on -one action, play against a computer or a friend, one or two players. Powerful league mode, make your own team by buying and selling players. Up to eight people can play in the same league. Battery backup lets you save your league so you can play anytime. And this bizarre spectacle is Bill Lambeer's Combat Basketball from Hudson, released in 1991. We had this game when I was a kid, and it's very bad. <laughs> we do have some reception data for this, as opposed to all the basketball and football games we looked at. Brett Allen Weiss, we're just going to go straight to this, uh, writing for All Game, gave the game a negative review, criticizing the graphics, sound, and controls, scoring the game one star out of five. He commented that these and other faults mar what could have been a guilty pleasure. Game Informer's Jeff, oh boy, Marchiafava, had a more positive review of the game on his list of weirdest celebrity-based video games. And this is a weird celebrity to base a game on. Uh, Bill Lambeer played for the Pistons, uh, when kind of the the Pistons were like the rough the rough players of the league at the time, uh, back in the '90s, and he wasn't he was never like a big name superstar. I think he's the general manager or the president of the Pistons right now. But yeah, um, we've got a weird overhead view of the court, unlike. In real basketball, players can physically check each other on the court without threat uh, of personal or team fouls. There are bombs all over the place. The season lasts about 14 games without any playoff. After each season, the top two teams in each league advance to the league above, and the bottom two teams of each league get moved down to the league below. Ties are broken by beginning season standings. If two teams finish the season with the same record, the one that was ranked higher at the beginning will be ranked highest. The player starts out his career in the third division and must work his way up to the Super League, where the best teams vie for league supremacy. Uh, the controls are not great, the music is not great, the graphics are not great. Let me give you an example of how bad the controls are. I pushed every button on the controller. I actually recorded twice, recorded video twice for this, and I don't usually do that. I could not figure out how to shoot the ball at all. I had to go look it up, and here's how you shoot. The B button does everything. B button passes, B button shoots, B button tackles when uh, you don't have the ball. To shoot, you have to stop pressing the D-pad and then shoot. But you have to stop it for long enough for your player to finish a step. So it's not like you can just go and then real quick. You gotta go and then give it a half a second and then shoot. Which makes it incredibly difficult because everybody's gonna tackle you. Uh, it's... This could be a great guilty pleasure game, like uh, Brett Allen Weiss said, but I'm going to be honest with you. There are better guilty pleasure basketball games for the Super Nintendo, one of them being Looney Tunes B-Ball. <laughs>